If this capital history of our progress teaches us anything, it is that man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And it is one of the great adventures of all time. And no nation which expects to be the leader of other nations can expect to stay behind in this race for space. and welcome to re-entry on Orbital Simulator. As you guys just saw from that intro, this is a game about the space race and about the missions that got America to the moon. So yeah, we start off with Mercury and we eventually build our way to Apollo. Now this is actually my third time trying to get a video out on this. Been having some problems, mainly with the VR. The VR is still a very heavy work in progress, uh, but I still want to give it a good shot. So we're going to give it one more try here, and if uh, VR doesn't work out, we'll just end up going back to standard keyboard and mouse. Uh, but yeah, the, v the VR is all right. It's just a little hard to control, and I've been having a couple big lag spikes with it. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, as you can see over here in the Academy, I've already done all the Mercury lessons. Uh, this was just part of the stuff I recorded before. But, um, yeah, we're not really going to go through them again. Because I feel like I could kind of explain all this stuff better if we just go straight into the full mission. Uh, but, yeah, it covered the, the pre-launch, the regular launch, the checklist, the electricity system, attitude controls, the life support, and the stagings. So... Yeah, all stuff I can probably <laughs> go over way quicker than the tutorial could. So anyways, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a full mission, and let's get back in the Mercury capsule. But yeah, if you guys want to play this game, the regular, like, non-VR is really good. Um, I just, <laughs> I just really want to do the, um, the VR mode, so, yeah. Anyways. Alrighty, so this welcome to the full mission. This will take you into suborbital flight with a retrograde burn splashdown in the Atlantic. Alrighty, roger that. CC, I'm guessing that's Capcom. Alrighty. Now prepare the cockpit. Alrighty, I'm gonna use the thing. Okay, so let's see how long do we have until our launch. We have 4 minutes 10 seconds till our launch. Okay, that's not that ideal. So I'm gonna have them hold the count for us. So yeah, we just go over here and have them hold the countdown for us. So we're gonna hold at 3 minutes 34 seconds. Alrighty, just so we can get through all our checklist there alrighty so let's go ahead and open up our checklist so as you can see we have a lot of checklists to do so at t minus 90 minutes we have the interior inspection so we're going to want to make sure that the batteries are all good so make sure all the batteries are on they're all behind us get on 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 and on 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 okay those are all on all switch fuses number one position yeah those are all up those are all up Squibs are off. Auto retro jettison switch is off. And then this is our ASCS. This is our um, reaction control system. Uh, and set those all to norm. Auto norm, general norm, yep. Control fuel handle is in. Manual fuel handle in. Push, push, push. Switch that over to instant. Kevin light switch both. Tim low frequency on, yep. That's good right there. Oh yeah, make sure all these are pushed in. Yep, good, good, good. Yeah, and the guards are installed. The retract scope switch. That is set to auto. Control fuel and quantity gauges, check. So control fuel is at 100%. We're not accelerating, That's re that makes sense. We are on the ground. Cabin temperature looks good. Yeah, all these gauges look to be their nominal levels. And we'll go ahead and check the batteries, make sure they are all topped off as well. Good. 
time from launch zero time of day that looks right that's also showing in the right spot we're in florida looks like i see the moon up there very cool all right i think we've we've done all this all righty so let's go back let's do the t minus 40 minutes go ahead and run this so now we arm this dc selector set that to iso abort capability test okay and then we're gonna do an abort capability test so we're gonna tell them to do the test check start abort light should illuminate and lamps amps should spike so yeah i see that that illuminated and the amps yeah they're all the way up okay so we know that the abort is going to work abbreviated interior check yeah that's all good okay auto retro jet yeah now now we'll go ahead and arm that retro delay yeah, fuel, primary, and auto fuel looking good. We have control of fuel. Cabin pressure indicator. Cabin pressure. Yeah, we are at max pressure right now. So that's good for being on the ground. Suit pressure is also where it should be. Oxygen is also... Yeah, all that's good. Okay. Dope. Dope. We're all good. All good. We are doing great, Houston. Everything is great. I just need to hit the check mark. Okay. Set this back to main. Turn that to on, set that to standby. Alrighty, and now we're gonna select our UHF to high, transmit to off, and now we're doing a full internal power checklist. T minus 10. So after we do this, we can go ahead and resume the count, because we're all caught up now. So request to switch to internal power, okay. Internal power, please. Roger. Now we can go ahead and set this to norm. Let's turn that off. And now we can go ahead and do our final checks. So we are good, Houston. You can resume the count. We are doing final checks now. So launch control, ready. So if we don't set that to ready, they will not launch. That is our thing. Yep, we are ready. Probably go ahead and do a transmission test, I think, now. Yep, we're gonna do a radio check. Radio check one, two. Five by five on UHF. And if we go ahead and flip this over, we can go ahead and do a radio check on HF. So yep, both those looking good. We'll go ahead and keep that to UHF though. Verify time zero button cover removed. So take that off. We're gonna wanna hit that right when we launch. And at T minus 30 seconds, we will do the ascent checklist. Okay. So we are ready to go, ascent. So we monitor, yeah, just basically monitor things. And we're doing the redstone. So at engine cutoff, we do the redstone checklist. But yeah, we're gonna monitor the abort light, the battery voltage, the cabin pressure. It's gonna go from 15. We're just that right now. Which one's the cabin pressure? Yeah, 15. It's going to go all the way down here to like 5.5 once we get into space. And then we just measure all the batteries, make sure that none of the batteries drop out on us. Let's see, we got a minute 30 till launch. Okay, I don't think I'll time warp. Let's just enjoy our time in here. So far, everything's going pretty good. Everything looking all right. Oh, I forgot. Let me turn that off so that's not in you guys' way. I couldn't see that on the VR. So let me just turn that off there. There we go. We're good. And yeah, so far the VR actually is working okay. It actually only really got laggy once we got into space. So we'll see what happens here. If the frame rate starts dropping a lot when we get into space, I might just have to quit out of the VR and go into regular mode, but we will have to see. But yeah, everything else looking good. Um, yeah, everything looking good for our, for our first redstone flight. Oh, and there we go. We're going, I think. There we go, nine, eight, six, five, okay. I'm gonna start monitoring. Okay, here we go. Lift off. Off we go. We're going. We're going to space. Oh. Um. Okay, the clock started. We're good. Acknowledge clock is operational. Lift off. Follow ascent checklist. Yeah. Clock. Clock went, went automatically. So yeah, that's only in case the clock doesn't go automatically. Uh, just a precaution. Battery's looking good. Cabin is dropping nominally. Okay, bolts looking good. You just make sure those are like nice and up. There we go. As we go into space. And yeah, board light is off. Everything's looking good. Yeah, there we go. Cabin pressure has dropped to 5.5. Oh, and there we go. I don't see the blue anymore. The blue is definitely gone. Bye-bye, blue. Alrighty, so that's all good. Let's see what we want to do for the redstone. So we wait for jet tower to be green. Yeah, oh yeah, and then we'll, we'll do all that, okay. Yeah, but there we go, there's the tower. Except capsule, green. So now we wanna set auto retro jet to off, so it doesn't do that. And then the emergency retro jet fuse, turn, pull that. 
so that way it doesn't fire our retros. In two minutes, we start pre-retro. So welcome to space. Oh, and there we go. We are actually facing the... So yeah, the Mercury capsule automatically pivoted to face retrograde. So we are automatically aiming retrograde. We can see our booster, the redstone booster, and Florida down there. I go ahead and set this to fly-by-wire. And yeah, leave that to auto. Should be able to go ahead and pull that and do a little bit of maneuvering. Which one's the maneuver? Oh, there's the maneuver. Okay, do a bit of maneuvering. So we're gonna go ahead and yob it to the side. Oh, that's a roll. Roger, roll. Let go, let go. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay, push that in. There we go, and it restabilized. So yeah, let's just let's leave that pushed in so we have rate command. Oop, don't do that. That's fine. That was the repressurize. That's the depressurize. Yeah, we're not we're not retro attitude. Oh, you probably should be aiming retro attitude. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's go ahead and set you back to retro. Let's go ahead and set you guys back to norm. Have you auto aim retro? There we go. So yeah, the Mercury has like some sensors on it, so like some horizon detectors and scanners, so it can automatically aim retro. It's pretty smart like that. And we'll go ahead and go to the retro checklist. Yeah, there we go. We're firing our retros. Or pre-retro. We didn't even do that. Yeah, we were supposed to run these a little while ago. But everything should be fine. Yeah, that was a quick little flight, but we're fine. Yeah, those are all set, I think, right? Do I want to lower those cooler? Oh, yeah, I want to lower those cooler. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we're about to go through the heat. We want to set those a bit cooler. Oh, yeah, and we want to put the fuse back in. So that way that jettisons. Yeah, let's just go ahead and bang that. There we go. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. Okay, I think we're good. We are spinning. Uh, re-entry. Re-entry attitude, please. There we go. Okay. And after the retro... Yeah, everything seems good here. Yeah, the capsule is doing its thing. Yeah, we did We did the retro checklist. We already did all that. Yeah, I got a little caught away. Forgot how limited our time in space here is, but there we go. We are now hitting the atmosphere. Yeah, you know. Only two minutes. It's not, not the best. But hey, you know, we're up here. And there we go. That's retracted automatically. That is good. So yeah, now we're just gonna wait for your re-entry. We can go ahead and do it. Ooh, don't do that. I, I think I, yeah, I turned that off, so that's fine. We can't, we can't accidentally, actually, just so we can't accidentally manually mess with things, let's just go and pull all those out. Just so we don't roast ourselves. There we go. There's re-entry. Ah, oh, isn't it nice and toasty? Isn't it nice and warm? Mmm. Ah, oh, yeah, d d d d d too warm. Too, too warm. Crank all the cold up. Crank, cr crank, crank the cold up. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Bit toasty. Ooh. Getting, getting hot in here. Getting nice and warm, and there we go. We've made through the plasma. You can go ahead and do a radio check. Let them know that we've made it through the plasmas. And now we will get an O2 warning once we start pressure repressurizing. Because, yeah, we have the snorkel, which is going to start taking in atmospheric air. And, yeah, the only problem with that is it's going gonna, it's gonna to set off the O2 alarm because it's like, wait, we're getting space oxygen? This doesn't make any sense, but no, it's fine. So I'm just going to turn that off. That will that will that would cause an alarm, but yeah, no, that's pretty good. Drug is out. Next will be main. Yep, there it is. Cool. And there you guys, you can see the O2 alarms going off. But yeah, no, even though it was the orbital flight, that was quite fun. That wasn't as as bad as my test before. <laughs> so yeah, again, it's probably gonna be a shorter video. Anyway, there goes the main, and we are getting ready to come down. So yeah, there you go. That's that's the Mercury capsule. Again, qu quite fun and quite entertaining. Can't wait to get into the new stuff because obviously Mercury, you know, we did go for launch Mercury, but you know, this is cool too. Honestly, this game is way more detailed than, than that other game as well. Like, everything is flippable here. Like, all the fuses, everything is interactable, which can't really be said for Go for Launch Mercury. Like, I don't think all these fuses were individually operatable. And yeah, it's got Gemini and Apollo as well, and in including the, the, the Lem, which is awesome. Uh, and yeah, it's just overall a great thing. Can't wait for our first orbit, but yeah, I think just for now, because it's taken me such a long time to get this video out. Uh, we'll just go from here. And yeah, I, I, I pretty much covered everything the tutorial said. Um, yeah, check the electricity again. You can go through all this. See all that working it's and doing its thing. Yeah, and there we go. There's our scope again. I don't know if it's supposed to be out on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and retract that. That probably shouldn't be out. Yeah, that's, yeah that shouldn't be out. How do I retract you? Where's the retract button? Where's the scope retract? I don't think it's supposed to be out. 
I don't know where the scope button is. We're about to hit the water. The water's coming. I don't want to get. I don't want to start flooding water in here. Please, where's the button to close it? Where's the close button? Oh, there it goes. Oh, now, now, now we're probably getting water in here. But there we go. We're now a certified Mercury pilot. Please, please rescue me quickly. The water. There's probably water going in here. There's probably water. Please, please, quick. Quick rescue! I, I need it fast. There's water. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for new videos! Have a great day, get rest of your day, and yeah, next time we're gonna be doing hopefully a full Atlas flight, and then yeah, we might even bring some guests on here for, for Gemini. I know, um, I believe there's multiplayer, uh, for, G for the Gemini, and, uh, I believe mission control as well. So yeah, we could do a Mercury flight with someone being our mission control, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye for now.